recording. There we go. Recording is gonna give me a higher quality version. I don't know why my internet's like right now. Just in case it goes wonky, I've got a copy. Okay. All right, this is that wild. Let's get into it. Okay. Love that music. Wake up, okay. No time for tea, we've got to wake up. Oh God, look at that explosion. Have I come from that ship? No, there's just the ship exploding above me. Oh, that's going to crash down at here. Oh, we need to get the hell up. That is going to calm down. It's behind a planet. It's crashing to the, that planet. There's our pilot back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems only yesterday you joined the space program, and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. You're sure you fixed the rest of the rockets? That was only a problem one time, and maybe a few times after that, but hey, no reason to dwell on the past. And you need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Okay. It looked like something blew up and crashed on that fucking planet. Take off. Observatory. That does look like a launch tower. And we are just camping out here. I Hey, it's you. Slate said you're busting on my ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Are you going into space? Aren't you? you better not hey, I'm still going. You better be. It's been forever since anyone was in space. I really want to see it really bad. Hey, you want to try my model ship? Flakes is just like the real thing, and he's less likely to start a fire. Fly model ship. That's going to be the observatory. Horizontal thrust, up, down thrust, left control, left ship. Oh god, and I've ruined it. Yeah, that's a good, good job. Already can't see it. Yeah, let's uh, reset his cube. Why do I get the feeling you're supposed to go somewhere with this thing? Oh, is that supposed to be like a landing pad? I'm only just realizing this now. Can we get down that hole? I'm gonna eat.
Little nudges. I win. It went down the hole. That is a deep hole. Actually, all right, we're done. So we're going into space. That's where I came from. All right. Okay. Launch tower. Orphy. Hey, oh, hatchling. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure among the stars when you return. Let's you, me, and Gossman open a bottle of good stuff. <clears throat> oh, am I going to that one? Out of Wilds Ventures present postcards from orbit. So it's launch day, huh? I'm gonna miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it. And the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it time you built a new, less flammable one? That big tree in the village will be perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program to save the world. Nice try, but we all know you have it out for that tree. All right, should we just get to it? This is like a weird waterfall making noise everywhere. Signal scope, track them down, instruments. I haven't even looked at the achievements for this game. There might be something to do. What's with the radio? We wanted to play hide and seek, but Marianne won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Sorry, can't today. We're going to the observatory. I kind of hate games that... I don't really want to talk to... I just want to run... I'm just going to run. But, like, I'm finding out about the game. Fish rhyme, fish rhyme, pass the time. You're leaving the crater. That big water pallet. Giant steep, that's where I'd go. I can't deal with the water noises. They're just too, they're too invasive. I need to get away. Is that a big water world? Is that what he said? I need to get into space, man. What is this? Oh, I'm taking a snapshot of that. Interesting. Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter, a strange and dangerous substance that is visible to the naked eyes. The good news is you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself falling around. Hornfells. Oh, he's throwing rocks at it. Oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? 
Any good sounds from space today? Outro Wilds Ventures for I'm listening to Traveller's music. Last night I heard Rybeck's banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. Wow. So they all play their instruments and we can hear them. Signal scopes are cool. How do I get to the observatory? Around that way, eh? Zero G cave. Hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before you launch. I've got a zero G training set up if you want a refresher. Okay. Let's take a refresher course. There's a satellite which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment set up down there in the zero clay we need to replace. If you're looking for a little last minute zero really practice, head down the lift into the cave. Okay. Let's see what's in for us, shall we? Cave. Suit up. Left. Shift. Down and up thrust. Okay. Hey, nice of you to drop down. I'm getting some zero G time in. So we're going in there in the cave. Hang on. What? No, I'm fine. Great, great and fine. You don't look fine. Well, you know I hate that cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. Now I've got hand sweats. Which cave are we going into? This one? This is Zergy. Oh, match velocity. Oh my god, this game just went up in my estimations. Oh, you're down thrust. Down thrust, okay. Yeah, just put that pipe back together, just like that. Alright, where's the next one? I can hear things. Ah. Oh well. What's throwing me off is that the shift key and the control key do the uh, do up and down thrust, but the shift key is above the shift key is above and makes you go down. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Alright, last one. Where be you? In here?
Eh. Eh. Here we go. Training simulation complete. Alright. Where do we go to get out of here? Oh look, it orientated me just perfectly there. Up again. Yeah, and then which way to go? Out of the cave. I done did it, dude. Give me the dirt. Tectite still doesn't crash outside of a village crater earlier. Is anything on fire? Probably only a little. Okay. Well, I actually enjoyed that. Is this the way out? Alright. Did a bit of zero G before we even get into space. This lift is long. Nicely done. Of course, it's a little more stressful when you're hurting through the space. But just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. I can see you're itching to get off this rock. So get on the launch coach from the observatory and get out here already. I'm down. You know, the only reason it's making me talk to all these people so I want to come back to know what I'm leaving behind probably who this is Know me. It's just setting up so much law behind it all. After Wild Adventures founding members, clockwise from top left, Hornfells. Gossan, Slate, Feldspar. Big thanks to these additional founding members that was without which without whom we would never have got off the ground. Quirty you up the pie. Quirty you up is the first line of characters on your keyboard. I think those are developers. Feldspar was the first Hearth Hearthian to be intentionally launched into space. They completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth and they made what would be the many landings on our moon, the Atoll Rock. Intentionally launched into space? How many were unintentionally launched into space? This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look at, yet at the Nomai, who appeared to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewellery that they have been carved as part of the antlers. Although there are artifacts and structures that have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. What well, is time for some detective work? Is this our is this our solar system here? 
stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it goes older and older, the star runs out of hydrogen and it starts to contract. As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand, and the star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. If the star is massive enough, it will continue to confuse carbon into heavier elements, like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity, then explode into a violent event called a supernova. Based on Church's observation, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. And our sun too. Weird patterns there. Nice screenshots. This crystal was taken from a nomad ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Oh boy. I see my blue hands for once. And when I get away from it, I fall down. Interesting. The name my technology brought back for space by astronauts have been greatly boomed out of world's ventures. Language to mod modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the little scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. Parts of a nomad skeleton. We can tell from their skull that they have been they had that they possessed antlers and quite unusually only three eyes. The Nomai body was lately adapted for living on exclusively on land, and the differences between the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that Hathians could have descended from Nomanian ancestors. We've got like six eyes, right? What's this? Pottery. Were the Nomai born in our solar system, or were they born among the stars mm -hmm. and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further xenoarchaeological ex expeditions. This piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although the text is linear, it often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Oh. Untranslated. Casanova, we're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Fortunately, the Adel Rock's lack of atmosphere will make the calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. We... Interesting, interesting stuff though. Do I go up? I'm gonna go up. Oh boy, let's look at the map. Oh, was not expecting that, okay. Timber Hearth, Brittle Hollow, the Hourglass Twins, Giant's Deep, Dark Bramble. Okay. Jesus. Thought I was going to look at a little model and you zoom me out to the whole goddamn thing. Hornfeld's observation, I'm guessing this whole Hornfeld over there. This is incredible. At first I thought the points of light in this image were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies. This image just covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. These guys love it. Hornfeld. Four eyes, not three. Okay. There you are. Just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with the Nomi Translator too. I confess I've been a bit giddy all day thinking about it. We better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomi. You and House will be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's the plan once you're in space? 
Um, I think I'm going to learn about the net money. I have guessed as much. No sense in making the translator tool if you're not going to use it to translate anything. We've barely scratched the surface of the Nomai writing in our solar system. We still know very little about them. We've no idea if they've originated here or travelled here or why they disappeared. That tool of yours should prove indispensable in solving the mysteries of these ancient species. Well then, it looks like all that's left is to send you off. Let's ready to go. Yes, give me the orders, kids. Best get off the ground before Slate Miss Animal Winter because you're good luck out there. Have a good thing. Launch codes. Dash dash. Dash dot dot. Dash dot. Okay. Oh, we've got to run all the way back down to the bottom now. Strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level headed among us realized there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Grab Gabro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it's observed, whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate is creepy. So when you're not looking at it, it's going to change. That's creepy. It is a creepy rock. I mean, I mean, creepy rocks are creepy. That is unsettling. I like the fact that it's on the left and to read this thing Jesus Christ, that's creepy as fuck. Never mind. I found something more creepy. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in the dark places with minimal atmosphere. Ugh, I just had a shiver. No, I don't want to go to the stupid rock. I, it's setting up so much. Let's get these launch codes. Oh shit. It's just replayed what I've just done. That just played back what I've just been doing. Ooh. The statue was glowing. Why was it glowing? Well, well, the statue was doing what? So his eyes opened and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around. You mean like a hallucination? No. It opened his eyes and it fucking pulled my memories out of my fucking head. Okay? That's actually just weird. But Gabo said that we're going back to Giants Deep. Don't know which island they're on though. If you think you're going to get any ideas or any answers from that museum statue, Giants Deep. Wow, okay, we're going to find out about everything. We're going to conquer all the secrets in this game. Oh boy, can we run? Can we don't want to jump down really, I'll walk down. Yes, play some more that cool music. Mm. 
Don't care who you are. I'm launching my ship. We got the launch codes, baby. In. Ooh, this is a bit. Oh, we got stone in here. We got a ship log. View entries, timber hearth. Rumor mode? View entries. Village. The one and only Hearthian village, as well as the main source of explosions on this planet. The Nomai statue in the observatory opened his eyes and looked at me. I saw strange glowing lights in my own memories flash before my eyes. Hal says the statue has never opened his eyes before, despite Hornfield's best efforts. <coughs> Cave at the very centre of Timber Hearth used by otherwise ventures to train new astronauts. I successfully repaired another satellite for Gusen. So maybe I should investigate this area to have more entries and stuff. I just don't want to. We have a lot to investigate, huh? An interloper, that looks like a comet. Dark Bramble, the last planet out. Giant's Deep, the water planet. Brittle Hollow, and Hollow's Lantern. Temple Hearth and the Atta Rock, which is its moon. Looking for the moon. Lunar Ruins, the Neme takes in the opposite talks about calibrating some sort of device on the Adel Rock. So rumor mode, Hal says Gary went back to Giant's Deep to try and learn more about the Nimai statue in the observatory. So you do have to find little... You do have to talk to everyone because they could give you clues. Planetary chart of the outer wilds. So yeah, this interloper is like uh, a comet on a weird orbit. Right, are we getting out of here then? Are we actually doing this? Are we going to suit up? Oh boy. See beyond the horizon. Little scout. Illuminate dark areas. Detect hazards. Test the environment. That's the little remote control guy. Buckle up. See, lift off, landing camera. We doing this? Left ship, hold lift off. View map tab. I don't know where we're going. 